eternally saved. The Holy Ghost spoke to me in heaven. When you came to the airport, by your choice, you obtained your boarding pass. By your will, you walked through the terminal right to the boarding gate. By your will, you could have still gone out, but you didn't. You sat there. They locked the doors. By your will, you strapped yourself. But from the moment they locked the doors and the pilot started taxiing, you cannot stand up and say, I don't want to go. No way. You must go with that plane, whether crying or laughing. But as far as that flight is concerned, it must go to destination. Ladies and gentlemen, the day you receive Christ, by your will, you invited Christ. By your will, you asked Jesus to come in. But the moment Jesus entered, it is too late for you to go out. Once you enter, you enter. So, so is human will not require to go out. No, the way it is designed. When human will finally agree, it is one way traffic. And the way he designed it, and salvation, he designed it in a way that once you enter, you can go out. That is the way it was designed. It's one way, one way traffic. There is no reverse. There is no gates at the back. Once you enter, that's why Jesus said, I am the door. Jesus said, I am the door. He says, by me, if any man enter. So you entered by Christ. To go out, you have to use Christ to go out. And Christ is not an exit door. Now, so Paul, being grieved, turned. And said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her. And he came out the same hour. That thing that made her prophesy disappeared. So now she cannot prophesy again. That means business has finished. Shop has closed. So look at the next thing that will happen now. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone they caught paul and silas and drew them into the marketplace onto the rulers and the next thing was prison that means that spirit that was operating in that girl was the spirit controlling that city that's why when the girl was delivered was freed the girl her masters got government to arrest paul and silas because our spirit was operating in the government of the day. Governments are not innocent. A government is either under the influence of demons or under the influence of the Holy Ghost. There is no free government. If your governor is not born again and is not serious with God, he will be under demonic influence and his policies and decisions will be demonized. And the city will come under bondage. Every city is under the spirit that is at work in the rulers of that city. Look at Ephesians chapter 2. Am I teaching good tonight? Ephesians chapter 2 verse number 1. You have he quickened. Ephesians 2 1. You have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Now observe the next verse. And we are in, in time past. You walked according to the cause. So there's a cause of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. The pneuma that walketh in the children of disobedience. So there is a spirit at work. Anywhere there are unbelievers. There's a spirit at work. There is no innocent unbeliever. No innocent unbeliever. Once a man is not born again, I don't care how morally good he is, the spirit inside him can turn him around overnight and make him a wizard. There's no unbeliever that is innocent. Because there is a spirit at work in him that is not innocent. And him and the spirit, he is subject to the spirit. The spirit is not subject to him. The same thing when a man is born of God, there is a work of the Spirit of God in him. And the Spirit of God will produce the fruit of the Spirit. The Spirit of the world will produce the works of the flesh. Teaching good? Yes, sir. 
Yeah. So that's why the best gift you can give to your leaders and governors and whoever comes to rule over you is to get them saved. Because once they are saved, an environment has been created for the spirit of God to begin to influence their, 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 their policies and choices and decisions to favor the people. That's why some governments are very callous. You see a governor hardened. People are suffering in his state. He's not moved because of the spirit at work in him. It's not him. It's a spirit that has been employed. Sometimes when it's normal, you will see him feeling sorry for his people. But once the influence comes, he will turn again. You wonder, ah, is it not? No, there are spirits controlling these people. And the job of the church is to pray and preach. Pray and preach. Pray and preach. The more we preach and the more people get saved, the more we are limiting the activity of darkness. The more people are born again, the more Satan is being pushed out of a city. The less people are born again, the more demonic activity multiplies in a city. So if you want to change by Elsa, evangelism is the way out. When we begin to preach and people begin to get saved, the spirit of God begins to find environments to operate the will of God upon the earth. Am I communicating at all? Yes. 